Hi, hi, friends. Let me make sure this is started, but we are on day three of the challenge, and I'm so excited to dive in with you today and help you tell your story. I think it's one of the most intimidating things that we do in business, and so that's why I wanted to do it with you in the challenge, help you write it right alongside you. If you're joining me in the replay, please say hey to me. Let me know where you're tuning in from, and I just want to say thank you for all of you that have been participating so far. I've so admired your courage. I know it takes massive courage to really own selling in your business, but I have just been delighted and so encouraged by your courage. Um, so I'm grateful for you. If you haven't joined us yet in the challenge, it's definitely not too late to join. So you can sign up at AnnaFranzen.com, slash sell with your cell. And I'm going to be leaving support open all week and all weekend. So even if it's been busy for you, you still have time to hop in with us and um, answer the four prompts. So I'm going to do a quick recap of days one and two, and then we're going to dive into today, day three, where you're writing your timeline story. But if you're joining me live, please say, hey, I would love to say hi to you. Um, and I also just want to talk about in general, how do we share wins in our business or how do we tell our story online when we feel like, this is what I hear from women all the time, Anna, I don't feel like I've arrived yet. I don't feel like I have a t story to tell. I don't have any authentic wins to share, right? I'm still on my own journey. And so how do I tell my story if I feel like my story is still in progress? So if that's you, that was definitely me at the start of my business. Um, I'm definitely going to be helping you with that today. Um, and what today's prompt is, is I have a specific formula for you to follow when it comes to writing your timeline story that's gonna be really helpful. So basically, you're kind of just filling in the blank and I really wanna make it easy for you and take the guesswork out because doing this piece of content is so important, not just because it's a great piece of visibility, but it's also just great for your business in general, right? Writing your timeline story is gonna be great for you to share with us this week, with your audience, um, but also on your offer PDF or on your website, just an important part of the sales that you do in your business. Okay, I also wanna say for you're in the United States with me, happy Veterans Day. If there are any veterans in here, I just wanna say thank you for your service and your support of our country. I appreciate you. Um, sending you guys lots of love if you've got littles home today. <laughs> so remember, challenge will be open all week if you need the support. Um, and so day one, we did the phone declutter. So you should have your phone decluttered. Day two, we did money-making action, so you should be clear on those. And now we're actually taking some money-making action. And really, I believe one of the biggest money-making actions you can do in your business is getting clear on your story and telling your story, right? And like I said, in order to tell your story, we have to get clear on what even is our story or what are the parts of our story that make sense to share with our audience as a part of our sales process. So if you get stuck anywhere in this part, just let me know and feel free to pop in any questions if you have them around this. So please say hey to me, by the way, if you're joining me live, I would love to say hi to you. Um, okay, so I'm gonna first share um, just five reasons why I feel like um, we hesitate from celebrating or sharing our wins or bragging in our business um, because we kind of have to get over this in order to do the timeline story, right? The timeline story is honestly you owning your story and bragging a little bit and sharing in a heart-centered way, hey, this is some of what I've accomplished. So in order to do that, you have to be in the headspace of being willing to own your wins and brag a little bit. So I wanna share with you five things that I feel like hold women back from doing this, from owning their wins and from sharing and from bragging in this compelling way. Um, and I want you to let me know if any of these stands out for you, okay? Um, okay, so this is what this is what I said um, to one of the last groups I ran to, you know, because at the end of every week of most of the group programs I run, I have you celebrate or share a win or brag. So I really believe that with gratitude, owning your wins and owning what you've accomplished so far, even if you don't feel like you fully arrived yet, is the biggest and best and fastest way to get more wins, even though it feels like the opposite, right? A lot of times we don't want to, so let me dive in before I get too far. Number one, as driven women, once we accomplish one thing, it's so easy to move on to the next, right? Maybe for you, you've gotten a few clients, right? You're not fully booked yet, but you've had some clients, right? And it feels like, you know, okay, I've gotten a few clients, now I have to get fully booked. It can be easy to jump on to the next thing instead of realizing what we've accomplished or what we've done. Um, number two, it can be easy to discredit your wins because you p compare your path to other people's path 
or the version of us or a past version of us, right? Maybe you were super successful in the corporate world and business has been more of a challenge to you. A lot of times we feel like, yeah, I did that thing. Yeah, I landed a client. Yeah, I hit that marker of making so much a month, but I should have done it faster, right? So a lot of times, even when we do accomplish something that is brag worthy, we discredit it because we feel like we should have done it faster because we saw so-and-so do it faster in their business, right? Or because we, like for me, I didn't hit six figures in my first year of business. It took me about 13 months or 14 months. It took me a little over a year. And honestly, it sounds crazy, but it took some of the joy out of it for me because I told myself, you know, I should have been able to do six figures in one year or whatever it is. And so I think really watch yourself in the parameters you're putting on yourself instead of realizing we're not in this race with anyone but ourselves, right? Okay, number three, reason why you may not be owning your wins or celebrating, you feel like you haven't fully arrived yet or hit that biggest goal, so you don't deserve the celebration until you hit that big marker or milestone, which I think is awful because here's what I wrote. It's often in the small, hard things behind the scenes that nobody sees that are actually the game changer in the long run, right? Often it's not those vanity metrics, but it's those small wins along the way that are the most significant. Um, let me know if any of these are resonating with you guys. Number four, reason why we don't celebrate our wins is we fear that celebrating might actually sabotage our success, right? It's kind of like that myth in the United States, like, you know, when you blow out your birthday candle, but you're not supposed to tell anyone what you're wishing for, because if you share your birthday wish, it won't come true, right? There's this feeling that, oh, we might jinx it, which I just believe is absolutely not true. And I've not seen for the women I work with, the more that they celebrate, the more they own their success, no matter how small, the more that there is, right? Um, number five is we feel like sharing our wins makes other people feel bad if their story or their success looks different, right? I hear this from women all the time. And I love helping all different women in my business. So if I share my success story, am I saying that they have to take that same path to success? I had this big time, especially because, you know, I have a lot of success in growing a big Facebook group, but I really, um, by the way, if you can hear me and see me, will you say hey to me? Hopefully, it's kind of like freezing a little bit. So hopefully this is still going live okay. But let me know if you can hear me and see me. I really struggled with sharing my wins because I believe that there are many visible paths to getting clients. A Facebook group is sure one of them. And I love Facebook groups. But I also believe you can get clients on Instagram. You can get clients with in-person connections. You can get clients with a podcast. I've gotten clients all those ways, right? And so a lot of times I hesitated to share some of my success because it felt like, you know, if I share my version of success, will that make people feel like there's only one path to success? right or I hear a lot of women saying too like if I share my story and if I share you know some of my wins is that going to um, make other people feel bad if they haven't achieved that right we don't want to brag and dim other people's light we're at the end of the day what I know to be true for sure is as you share your wins as you own your success no matter how small it is what you're doing is you're paving the way and showing people what is possible right? You're not telling them, you know, you have to do exactly what I did. You're saying, hey, if I can do it, you can do it too, right? Maybe it'll look a little bit different, but I'm going to show up fully. I'm going to share my wins. I'm going to glow and radiate because I want to show you it is possible. And ultimately when I tapped into that and started realizing that, right, the more money and success that I make as a heart-centered entrepreneur, the more I'm showing other women what is 100% possible for them in real time. And I know if I didn't have those examples of what it looked like to make money with heart, um, I never would have really been inspired to do it, right? Oh man, I hope this live stream is working. Oh my goodness. Facebook Live, don't fail me. Okay, well, if you guys are leaving comments, I can't see them. So I'm not ignoring your questions if you are saying anything, but I'm just gonna keep carrying on. Okay, my loves? Hopefully, I don't know, should I ever start it? I'm gonna keep going for it, okay. So today, your job in the challenge is to tell your story. So let me give you, um, a quick rundown, if you log into your members area on day three, you'll notice I have a template for you. I also share my example. And again, the beautiful part about doing this is not only you're gonna create a beautiful piece of content that you can email to your list like today, <laughs> a beautiful piece of sales content, 
Um, but you're also creating a part of your compelling core offer. So if you've never heard me teach on creating a compelling core offer for your business, there's seven core elements to it. And this is one of the core elements that you have to master. So I also have an offer PDF template. I'll share the link to you if you're interested, but it's under a hundred bucks and it's a template to create a compelling core offer. So if you end up doing today's exercise, guess what? you already did one of the seven areas of creating a compelling core offer, right? So I feel like this is such, your story timeline is such a powerful part of selling online, but also your offer in general. Okay, so I'm gonna go over the parts and then you can always read my story too and kind of like mirror that template I did. So the first part of it is your opening line, right? We wanna do a powerful opening line for your story. Next is a timeline. So I want you to think about a time in your life or your business that would inspire your potential clients. And I want you to break down the timeline of what happened in, in that part of your business or life. And this may be mean you need to go fact hunting a little bit, right? This may mean that you need to um, look at your story, right? A lot of times we forget to write down those markers again, because we're always moving on to the next thing. But I would encourage you to look at how many clients did you work with? How many workbooks did you sell? What are some of those metrics that you can own? And it really helps me to celebrate and brag too when I think about gratitude. For me, I'm like, I am so grateful that I've been able to accomplish this, right? And so as you're doing this timeline, really embrace two things, gratitude and showing your audience what's possible, right? I am so grateful that I've been able to accomplish this. I'm grateful for the people that supported me in getting here. I'm grateful grateful for the past version of myself self that showed up even when it was scary, right? So showing gratitude and then also massively showing what's possible and being able to say, hey, if this worked for me, this 100% is going to work for you too. And I'm so excited to help you in that if you're interested, right? Okay, so opening line, timeline, and then so I like to have a timeline of like a condensed period of your life or business. And then I like to put since then, and then kind of summarize other wins. And then I put, and most importantly, you then at that point, you want to connect it to the work you do with other people, right? And so I say, most importantly, I've been able to help other women do the same thing. And if you have a testimonial, this is a great area to add in a brief testimonial for your business. Um, showing that, hey, this was my story, but I've been able to help other people too. And this is an example of that. And then you invite them to connect. So if you say ready to X, Y, Z in my program, I would love to connect. And then you want to let them know your next step. And usually it's not buying your thing unless it's like a low cost thing. If it's under a hundred bucks, you can pitch your thing right then and there. But if it's over a hundred bucks, if your offer is $1,000, $5,000, you're going to want to connect into that clarity call, right? Or your discovery call. And so then the goal there isn't to sell your thing. It's just to sell them on a connection call with you because we know in that call that's where you can connect and answer any questions about your paid work right okay hopefully i'm crossing my fingers that this recorded for you guys right so okay let me check on my phone too um i wonder if stuff is showing up there and um let me see let me see if it's showing up okay Let's see. Well, we're just going to trust in faith. <laughs> we're just going to trust in faith that this recorded. So your job today is to write your timeline story. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I want you to write it and I want you to share it with us in the group, even if it's imperfect. I'm happy to give you feedback. Feel free to let me know what you need if you want feedback on it or if you're like, I don't need feedback, but I just want to celebrate. And then your goal is to share it with, with me and us in the group. But the other goal is to actually... Um, Share this with your audience, right? Email it to your list, post it on your Instagram, post it with your Facebook group, share your story with your audience. And then tomorrow you're going to go live. You're going to take a part of that story and you're going to share it on live, but it's going to be so much easier because you've already thought it out, right? You've already written it. You've already processed it. And so again, give yourself the gift of looking at some of that data, crunching some of the numbers, owning and celebrating your story, knowing that it's like always in progress and always in process. And if it feels like my story doesn't feel finished yet. Guess what, sister? 
Mine doesn't either, right? So that's okay. Like, can't, and I get that it's vulnerable, but can you be willing to share your story? Can you let your version of success now inspire someone, right? What if someone doesn't need someone that's at the ultimate level of success? What if someone needs your version of success that's just a few steps before you, right? What if someone needs the exact version of success that you're at right now? And I can guarantee you that that's the case, right? Um, so really own it, write it, share it, make sure you tag it hashtag sell with yourself number one so that I can find it and cheer you on number two so you get entered to win a one-on-one -on -one session with me at the end of the week um but again if you miss days one and two honestly I would just skip to today's I would just skip straight to telling your timeline story because I feel like if any of the four days of prompts this is the most important by far really owning and crafting and creating your story so there's permission if you feel like you haven't done the other two pieces yet to dive right into this one. And I'm so sorry, I can't see your comments. So I will answer your questions. So number one, I want you to let me know in the comments. I'll check them after I finish this Facebook Live. Let me know if you are committing today to writing your timeline story. Let me know with a yes. If you are going to go all in on that, right? Can you commit to doing that? Even if it's imperfect, even if it's still in progress, you can even write at the top of the post, this is a draft, right? I'm not quite finished with this yet. Um, but can you commit to doing that, right? Number one. Number two, can you commit to going live tomorrow? That's the next step. It's not overthinking it, but just picking a little piece of your story and um, going live with me tomorrow. Again, I'll have the exact prompt for that, so don't worry about that. But the best thing you can do to equip yourself for tomorrow is write that timeline story today. Again, versatile piece of content. You'll share it in the group. Bonus points if you share it with your community, on your social feeds. And don't forget, yes, you're sharing your story, but don't forget at the end to pitch. <laughs> don't forget at the end to say, if you want support from me, here's how you can work with me. You can purchase my mini course, right? You can sign up for a free coaching call, right? Don't forget to do that really clear invite. Don't hide it. Be really explicit and clear because someone may read your story, may be inspired by that, and may be ready to buy right now, right? Again, you've heard me talk about this. I think giving value online is so important, but that's not what we're here for. We're here for the people that are actually ready right now for your work, right? Um, so do that post. Some of you have been asking me, what sort of image or graphic should I do with it? And I suggest you do a picture of you, okay? Um, so if you don't have a selfie, now is a great excuse to go out and take a selfie. If you already have a past selfie, I have a selfie folder on my Google Drive that I use of past selfies. So permission to use an old picture of you. But I think that there's something powerful in using your face and that connection. And it's almost like leverage connection, right? If you post that in the group, I see the reach of the post in this group. And most of the posts that people put in this group have over a hundred impressions. Over a hundred people are seeing the posts that you're creating, right? And so just think about for a second, your face is connecting with a hundred other women. That's powerful, right? So get over the fear of posting consistent selfies and realize that it's the biggest gift you can do when you're building trust, especially with a cold audience that's never met you before, right? That face connection, I am all in favor of doing coffee chats and doing like slower growth things, but I think that there's something powerful about a selfie because again, it's that leverage visibility. You're connecting one to many, right? You're connecting with 100 women with just one picture or if that intimidates you, 10, right? Don't be overwhelmed by that. Share your photo, share your timeline story, and I cannot wait to give you feedback. Okay, I'm so sorry that Facebook wasn't showing me your beautiful comments, but feel free to write any questions for me, anything you're feeling stuck on, anything you need more feedback on, and I will be back to coach you and answer anything for you, um, answer any questions that are left unanswered, and as always, you can always post questions just in the big group too. Okay, my loves, I can't wait to see you tomorrow for your Facebook Live, but today you're writing your beautiful timeline story and I cannot wait to read it.